I want to ask more generally, since you since you have done these lists for for years, and it is really investigative journalism. Is Elon Musk one of the easiest people to assess because so much of his wealth is public, or um, just g- give us some sense as to just the the confidence with which we track him in particular relative to some others on the list? No, that's a, that's a great question. Um, yeah, the easiest fortunes to track are the ones where it's you know, public stock, because if you are um, the CEO of a publicly traded company, your shareholding is public is, you know, we can look it up, you know, and as as it changes, if you buy more stock or sell stock or give it away there, you always have to file something with the SEC Securities and Exchange Commission. And we look at those filings all the time. Um, So for the Tesla piece of, um, of Musk's fortune, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the thing that's, where you could maybe, you know, people might differ is he has pledged a lot of his Tesla shares as collateral for loans. And so, you know, what we do at Forbes to take account of that is, you know, we don't know the full size of all those loans. He doesn't have to disclose all of his personal loans, but we discount an, a percentage of his pledged shares from his net worth because to essentially to account for the debt that we know those, those shares represent, you know, yeah. some debt that he's, that he's, and he's been known to borrow. He's like a kind of a cash poor billionaire. That's kind of what he's, he hasn't sold that many. I mean, he, last year was a big deal too, that he sold a bunch of Tesla shares. Um, a lot of that speculation was that he was using, he sold them, you know, when they were, when the price was quite high in late 2021, um, was a, probably a good time to sell them. And then he could use that cash to pay for Twitter. I mean, of course, at the time, we didn't know that was in the horizon. How much of his net worth is is Tesla? Because, you know, there is also SpaceX. There are, is it, is it the bulk of his net worth really is um, that company? It's over 50%. Um, it's, it's maybe 55 or 60% is Tesla because he's got Tesla stock plus he has te- Tesla options. Right, which are worth something as well. So yeah, it's more than it's it's the biggest chunk of his of his net worth by far, um, and then SpaceX, um, and yeah, I mean he's got you know, and and then of course he doesn't he doesn't really have so much cash right now because he spent it all on on Twitter, but he has the value of the Twitter asset, which of course the other thing is you know he just bought Twitter for forty four billion dollars. He doesn't own all of it, right? There's some outside of, there's some other investors, uh, including Prince Salwa lead from Saudi right. Arabia. Um, and Jack Dorsey, I believe, but um, the you know he paid more than most people think it's worth. Most people think the Twitter is worth a lot less than he than he paid for. Most social media companies are trading at a value that's much lower. Would there be anything you'd say in terms of again? Um, it's hard to isolate, but he is somebody who has taken, in some cases, um, kind of what would appear to be remarkably uh, self sabotaging behavior when it comes to preserving wealth. You know, you mentioned some of the the tweets, for example, um, has that been a bigger factor in his wealth? Because I'm assuming so much of people's wealth really is what's going on in the environment and and really sort of economic conditions and enthusiasm for stock. But is, Musk does seem to be somebody who we pay closer attention to what he's saying. And um, in some ways, what he's doing, we do, we do use the Tesla as a surrogate for how we feel about him on a personal level. Is that too strong to say? No, I, I mean, well, it's interesting. I, I mean, I, I kind of was scratching my head at, at, in 2020 when Tesla stock was going through the roof because I didn't feel like what was changing? What was so different about Tesla? I mean, it was doing well. People wanted electric cars, but was there something that was so dramatic to make the stock go up so much in, in the course of one year? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I didn't see it. But in terms of what's different, I think about Musk versus say some of the other billionaires, um, particularly like Jeff Bezos. So we tallied um, last year, all of the stock in Amazon that Bezos has sold since uh, Amazon went public yeah. in the mid nineties. And he'd sold 20, more than $26 billion worth of Amazon wow. stock. And you know, so a bunch of that he's put into his rocket company, Blue Origin. But he is invested in a bunch of other companies. He has a whole, um, you know, website in uh, Bezos Expeditions, which lists right. a bunch of his his investments. And there's some biotech stuff, and there's some other things. Um, and you know, and then he's giving some money away too. With Musk, he, you know, the sale of the stock. He really, I mean, since between the time of the IPO of Tesla and then last year, he hardly sold any shares of Tesla. 
And I think there was maybe one sale back in the early, early on after the IPO. And so that, and, and, you know, as far as we can tell, he, he, the stock that he sold again, we think it was used, the money was used to, to, to buy it. So it's not like he's, um, you know, lining, saving billions to retire on. Like, I don't think right. he he's not buying think, a bunker in New Zealand. He's all no, in. He doesn't have a yacht. To, you know, it's, it's, I mean, he got, he was, you know, a big deal last year. He said, I'm going to get rid of all, he had seven homes in California. He was going to sell them all. And he did. Um, so he's not really into having possessions that we know of that we can see. Um, so he's, a, he's a little bit of a different breed. He clearly loves the attention of being the uh, head of Twitter though, and tweeting all the time. It's a, uh, it does kind of make you wonder how he has time to, to look at any of his other jobs. Yeah, no, I think very interesting. And obviously, uh, more to come. We will continue to track his wealth real time. And of course, you know, on that annual basis. 